What's up YouTube, Cliff here from the Sunday Drive. Today we're gonna to be showing you how to change the fluid in your transfer case on a 2014 Silverado 1500. Now this also applies to the subsequent years as well and should be similar on the other models. If you guys wanna know how to change your differential fluid, you can watch our other videos that we'll have linked to at the end of this video. Here's what we're gonna be putting back into the truck. This is AMSOIL ATF fluid, and the transfer case on the Silverado 1500 needs 3.2 pints. Here's our transfer case. You can see we have our drain plug and fill plug right here. These are both 18 millimeter. And what you always want to do whenever working on a differential or anything that has a fill and drain plug, always open the fill plug first. For some reason this is seized and you go ahead and drain all the fluid out, you're going to have a bear of a time because you're not going to be able to add any new fluid in. So always check your fill plug first. All right, so we got that out. So we know we're good to go ahead and remove our drain plug. All right, so just go ahead and let that drain for a little while. Let's see how much fluid came out of the transfer case. All right, there's one pint, there's two pints. All right, so we have just under three pints that we removed from the transfer case. Now the drain plug is magnetic, so as you can see, there's a whole bunch of metal filings on there. Um, now this is the first fluid change on the transfer case since I got the truck, and it has 61,000 miles on it. So, not sure if this is a lot or a little, but there's definitely some stuff on there, so go ahead and wipe that off. Now you definitely will have some shavings on there, um, whether or not you're gonna have as much as I did remains to be seen. Right, we're gonna go ahead and reinsert the drain plug and that gets torqued down to 13 foot pounds. So does the fill plug. We're gonna use this AMSOIL pump that I picked up along with the transmission fluid. I'll have a link to this in the description of the video to pump this back up in there. You wanna make sure your truck is level because you wanna fill it until it starts to come out of your fill hole. At that point, you know that you're full and then go ahead and reinstall the fill plug. If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them below. We also have some videos on how to change the other fluids on your truck as well. And those links will be at the end of this video as well as in the description. Thanks for watching. See you guys here next time.